network of awareness makes your brain coherent one of the fastest growing podcasts you can hear it 24 7 got listeners out in london information a list in paris the echo spreading out no parry just dissect digest and share it the righteous rhymes hit the spirit click 90 times it won't perish because y'all's the mind ain't no fairy tale like the barely our parents it's time to rise don't get wary united minds it's apparent download every single errand but most ain't fit to catch it even if they were larry Interviews, the interludes, they into you, taking you on a journey like no other. It places you in a state of awareness. It's your fault if you hate the truth. Cause y'all even y'all always on this way, my brother. Better change your views. All praise, yeah. Peace and greetings, people. This is Or the Information List, and you're now tuned in to a live broadcast of Network of Awareness. And yes, I decided to do this live show on this Monday morning, October 31st, uh, because normally what I used to do is do shows at seven in the morning and seven at night. But obviously, that's too much time. So what I will be doing is... Uh, when I can do an episode live, I will. But you will get shows as as always daily, Monday through uh, uh, Monday through Friday, and um, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm giving you a daily dose of uh, Most High Monday show. Now it is October 31st, so it's Halloween. As you well know, I don't celebrate the hella day called Halloween, which is Sunday. Samhain. It's a very pagan ritualistic holiday. Um, I definitely suggest that if you um, do participate in this holiday, you be very careful. And remember, nothing good happens after 10 p.m. But, you know, speaking of mask and fraud and corruption and fake and just overall deception... Today's episode is episode 90 of season four. Now, since we're closing in on season five, I just want to let everybody know that. Sorry about that. That was I didn't even realize I had my phone on. <laughs> but what I want to let everybody know is that coming into season five, it's going to be mostly interviews. So be prepared and aware for that. Because that's what season five is going to be about moving forward. And that's what the Network of Awareness started as, as interviews. I've done more solo casting just because I had to get the get the message out on a couple of things. But also as therapy for myself in recent events and some of the past events that have happened this year. So just be aware that um, there's going to be more interviews coming. And of course, I'll, I'll still do solo casting in between because, of course, we have the Narcissism series. And even though I'll be doing interviews with people, 
about the narcissism series um because it's a personal subject for me that you know i had to overcome narcissistic abuse from from a relationship i was in um it's something very serious and near and dear to my heart and i know that a lot of people have suffered from this abuse way more than i did and so i feel like it's just my duty to serve humanity and also serve the most high by awakening people to this reality that seems to be a never growing problem but what's another problem when it comes to deception here in the united shenanigans in america and around the world is controlled opposition so we're going to talk about that okay let's get this show started let's get it started right let's get it started quickly right so before i get into the uh, topic of discussion for today's episode I want to say my condolences to all of my listeners in India that have suffered this tragic event um with this bridge collapse. I'm going to talk a little bit about it and I'm going to go over this article that I that I received. Now, it says that it killed over 140 people so far because they're still recovering bodies. The good thing is there are people that were saved so i'm going to read a little bit of this article in regards to the machu bridge that collapsed um now it also says that people were swaying the bridge but there's there's a lot more to this that we're going to find out but it says video footage showed pedestrians attempting to sway an indian suspension bridge in the moments before it catastrophically collapsed leaving at least 141 people dead as of monday rescuers expect the death toll to continue to rise after the bridge fell apart in the western state of gurat yeah right gurat on sunday the majority of those killed were women children and elderly people hmm A local office told the BBC almost 180 people were successfully rescued. Well, that's a positive. However, in an overnight operation involving national and state disaster relief personnel and the Indian military, rescuers on boats plucked victims from the dark waters around the bridge and ferried them to the river's muddy banks where volunteers and soldiers wanted w- waited uh with stretchers to receive the living and the dead the 754 foot bridge over the machu river okay it's the machu river that's over which was built during british rule in the 19th century oh, well that says a hell of a lot had only been registered for four days after months of repairs when the tragic incident occurred isn't that interesting that right after it was repaired it collapsed which means obviously whoever repaired it didn't do a good job at all video footage of the seconds leading up to the disaster appears to show people attempting to sway the crowded structure as they take photos the cables on the side of the bridge then snap plunging the crowd around 33 feet into water below now keep in mind whenever they use numbers like 33 to be exact that is masonic order language all right and all news medias are mostly involved there's only a very few independent news medias that are not involved but when you see something like 33 feet it's it's code authorities have promised a full investigation into the cause of the accident separate footage showing the aftermath of the collapse shows people clinging onto the bridge netting with others attempting to scale the twisted wreckage to escape the water people were hanging from the bridge after the accident but they slipped and fell into the water and into the river when it collapsed and i witnessed giving only the name raju told rooters 
it could not sleep the entire I could not sleep the entire night as I had help in the rescue operation. I bought a lot of children to the hospital. Well, that's good. The state's home minister, Harsh Shankavi, said several criminal cases have been registered in connection with the incident. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who was born in what became Gujarat state, where the bridge collapsed on Monday set of the disaster. Rarely in my life have I experienced such pain. He added that I have, uh, that I, he added that the government would award financial compensation to the families of the dead and to the injured survivors. And, you know, I really do hope that they follow through on that. I really do. I really hope so, because that's important. But let's see, you know, and uh, like I said before, my condolences, shout outs to all my Indian listeners. Um, If you want to share any information that I can share on the show, anything that you want to add to this, you can always email me at aura, O-R-R-A, at network of awareness.com. Okay. And uh, you can leave me uh, a message directly on my website, which is networkofawareness.com. The chief officer of Morby Municipality said local electrical appliance makers, Oriva Group, had been tasked with the bridge maintenance. Mm, not a good job. They did not give us any information that they were reopening the bridge. And it says that Sandeep Singh Salah said, we have not issued any fitness certificate to them. See, this is, this is going to go a lot deeper than what we know as of right now. The Indian Express newspaper on Monday quoted that Oriva spokespersons are saying, while we are waiting for more information, prima facie, the bridge collapsed as too many people in the midsection of the bridge were trying to sway it from one way to the other. Yeah, that could be a possibility, but still, you should have built the bridge strong enough for that to not even occur when attempting to do so. So shout outs to all my peoples in India. My condolences to you if you were one of the people that lost family or had family injured. And if your family was rescued, um, you know, count your blessings and all praise to the Most High. Now, with that being said, brothers and sisters, I want to go over this controlled opposition. Now, what is controlled opposition? Now, let's go over that a little bit here. It's important we understand what this controlled opposition really is. Now, I'm going to read an article, but before I do, here's some definitions of what controlled opposition is. A controlled opposition is a protest that is actually being led by government agents. Nearly all governments in history have employed this technique to trick or trick and subdue their adversaries. Notably, Vladimir Lenin who said, the best way to control the opposition is to lead it ourselves. And the reason, one of the reasons why I'm doing this, because there's a lot of controlled opposition going on right now here in the United Shenanigans of America people. One of them, obviously something that I've talked about, and I'm going to talk about it more today, is this Ye West or Kanye West propaganda where they're trying to make him seem like he's now this woke truth warrior for the truth community. And it's kind of ridiculous because it's so obvious. And shout outs to um, all the different people on Instagram and the people that follow me on TikTok, especially that have noticed this and are not falling for it. And the rest of you people that are on TikTok, I blocked a lot of people because I had certain people just 
just saying some of the dumbest shit ever when it comes to this. And this is what this is the type of people that they know are going to gravitate to this because just because Kanye is a supposed so-called black man, which <laughs> whatever that means, because we all know. And for those who don't know, there is no such thing as black. There is no such thing as white. There are social constructs to skew your perceptions of reality. Period. And here they have a so-called black man who that's in question that has sold his soul to the Luciferian order and agenda. And now he is being used as the puppet to push this controlled opposition. And if you haven't figured it out, they say he's lost a billion dollars. Number one, he hasn't accrued that amount of wealth. That's all propaganda. Those are all lies. And even if they accrue that type of wealth, it's not even really their wealth. Because the very people he's talking about are the very people that control these people's bank accounts. So why is it that he still has hundreds of millions of dollars in their banks? Because if he was so anti-Semitic, I can guarantee you none of that money would be in the bank no more. And chances are, he would not be alive if he was doing something or trying to create something for so-called the black community and trying to help sincerely. And that's why I say, people, you need to wake up for those that are still asleep because we're going to see where this is all going to, you know, add up to. Give it time and I guarantee you all will be revealed. This is some fuckery. This is bullshit to the highest degree because it is controlled opposition and this has been done before and a lot of dummies let's just call it a lot of dumb people just gravitate to this like this one older man and it doesn't surprise me because this man you know he started following me but he's always posting pictures trying to get women and he was like in his early 60s late 50s and he's over here like, well, he has a black face, so that's enough for me. And it's just like dumb, dumb, and dumber. You know, and people don't like to think. They just like to go with the flow. And that's why control opposition is so successful because we live in a very ignorant, dumbed-down society here in America. Most people here are not critical thinkers. Most people here are just go with the flow imbeciles. Now let's continue here. It says that controlled opposition, because although everyone thought he was supporting the revolution, okay, this is uh, Count Maribu. It says, in really, he was supporting the monarchy and, his, and was a personal friend of the king. He was a government agent. That is no different than supposed Ye West, okay? And didn't Kanye say that he's still friends with a lot of these Jewish business people in the corporate sector, in fashion, and in music? That, that says a hell of a lot because he's playing both sides right in front of people's faces, but people can't understand it. Because he is controlled opposition. He is an agent. Okay. This man has been rewired and reconfigured to serve whatever agenda they want him to serve. And let's not talk about his vanity and his conceit. I find it to be very disgusting. Especially, he's no different than Trump. He's a little bit of a, a narcissist too. Like many, many, many people in Hollywood become or already were. But the way he talks about himself, you would think that he's like the the second coming to Christ. Like he's like the, the Messiah, you know? And remember, he was the one that called himself Jesus. <laughs> Boy, man, how it's so obvious. But most people don't even care to see the obvious because it doesn't matter to them. It's not going to matter to them until this comes knocking on their door and then they're going to have to face 
whatever comes of it based on their apathetic decisions or their lack, or should I say the lack of decision is really apathetic because to not make a decision is a decision. Now, controlled opposition is a strategy in which an individual organization or movement covertly controls or influenced by a third party and the controlled entity's true purpose is something other than its publicly stated purpose. Sounds familiar? Trust me, there is another purpose to why Kanye is doing this. The controlled entity serves as a role of mass deception, surveillance, and or political social manipulation. And this is all falls under what Kanye West is doing. And I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a note of that because that 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 sentence right there literally explains it all. Matter of fact, let me put that into my description page while we're doing this live. Grand rising to you, sister. Thank you. Appreciate you joining the broadcast. So let me put that in here and we'll get that straightened out. And I'll put that into the description box. All right. Now we got that in there and we got it saved. Yes. Now, people, keep in mind that this dude is nothing but controlled cool opposition. And you know, it's funny because I, and shout outs to all my TikTok followers, because, because I've been talking about this now, the, the level of, um, views and likes and and comments has <laughs> it's crazy how you can talk about a celebrity and you know even though I'm talking about the talking about the propaganda you'd be surprised how people jump on the bandwagon and that's why a lot of people have the 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 audiences that they have right like this one man with his podcast if he didn't never talk about celebrities the way in which he did he wouldn't have the fan base that he has because when you talk about celebrities, it just draws everybody in because a lot of people are consumed with this bullshit information. And it just proves to be right because let me tell you, I have a post that I put out about Kanye being controlled opposition. And literally, I mean, literally, not even within five minutes, I had over 250 views. That's now way into the thousands. It's, I've never got a, a post ever because I'm pretty new to social media, but I never had a post that have over a thousand views, but now I'm starting to, which I guess is a good thing for me in the sense that it, it's bringing more awareness. Um, doesn't necessarily mean it's going to drive traffic because a lot of people in social media, they're just looking and that's it. It's nothing's going to really come of it. But for the few that gravitate to the information, say, you know what? Let me check out this show, Network of Awareness. Um, I salute you. I guarantee you will not be disappointed because I have close to 400 shows. And we're soon to go into season five that are very informative. So with that being said, it also states that it's a preempt to or neutralize true but negative information. Listen to this. Preempt or neutralize true but negative information by having it be disclosed or championed in a skewed, stigmatized manner by a person or group. Now, what is Kanye doing? He's, he's neutralizing the truth with negative information. And he's neutralizing the truth because people, we've known that the children of Israel come from melanated people from the continent of Africa and that crossed over during the different terms of enslavement to the islands um, offshores of the Caribbean and to the what's known to be the Americas because at one time the landmass was all together. And our peoples, uh, the children of Israel, did um, sail over to these islands. And I know this to be true because I come. My family heritage comes from the children of Israel 
in the island that is now known as Puerto Rico, which in Hebrew is called the island of Borican. Okay? That is a fact. Okay? People say, oh, you know, um, all of the slaves came from Africa and the children of Israel, Israel, like some of these fake-ass messengers talk about are Negro, when Negro is a social construct. Okay? The melanated people were on all four corners of the planet. And the only reason you hear people talk this bullshit is because they're coming from a deep-rooted sense of insecurity and trauma that they don't want to give you the truth. They want to give you the truth based on their narrative. And usually people that gravitate to that are people that are suffering from that same psychosis. And even though... I can appreciate when people give out this information. What I don't like is when they give it out based on their narrative instead of giving the right, precise, accurate information, plain and simple. So let's continue. I'm going to read this one more time. Preempt or neutralize true but negative information by having it be disclosed or championed in a skewed, stigmatized manner by a person or group. And I am going to save that as well because that needs to be <laughs> that needs to be reposted, people. So let me do that real quick. All right, cool. Now, let's continue. Because this gets even more interesting when it comes to the controlled opposition. The truth can be peppered with disinformation or the truth of the message can be neutralized by association due to the extreme, radical, un... Let's see what we got here. uh, Unpalatable positions held by controlled entity, personal group, who is disclosing the information or is championing a position? Who's championing a position right now? Yay. (laughs) That dude has changed his name five times in a matter of 10 years. The truth can be peppered with disinformation or the truth message can be neutralized by association due to the extreme radical or um, uh, palatable positions held by controlled entity person or group who is disclosing the information or championing a position. Mm -mm -mm. The stigmatized, uh, unadulterated truth is turned, in turn, steers people away from truthful information who, which would normally uh, cause criticism or serious backlash Against the controlled party. Now it says stigmatized truth also greatly inhibits independent research into sensitive areas. Usually involving involving criminal acts by controlling entities and serves to manipulate social dynamics in a manner in which it becomes taboo to publicly discuss sensitive, albeit critically important subjects. Now, don't get it twisted. There's a lot going on right now that this Kanye Kaka is distracting people from. Okay? Our governments are trying to institute and create laws for this new coming election because there's going to be a massive, what's already a takeover, but it's going to get even far worse. Whether Biden is in office again or not, And it doesn't surprise me that they're trying to open up this case against Trump because that is part of the controlled opposition. They have to make it look like Trump is going to be our savior. And they're doing a great job already. There's so many Trump supporters. And the sad part is, is that some of these people that are Trump supporters are very aware that presidents don't run shit. But because he's such a narc and we, you know, I would say about, 75% of this country is narcissistic and has narcissistic people running around all over the place. They're going to gravitate to this. 
Because what Trump represents is the social ignorance and conceitedness and pride of Americans. That is the very pride that's going to destroy and have this country self-destruct. Because you've heard me say it before, there's nothing great about this place. The only thing that's great about this place is the few people that are great within this place. And I truly be, believe that those are the people of the most high. And I'm not talking about black, white. I'm not talking about social constructs. I'm talking about within the spirit. Now, it says that, let's continue with this, um, with this other article in regards to controlled opposition. Now, this one is a great one. It says the best way to control opposition is to lead it ourselves. That's by Lenin. Controlled opposition is any personal organization which appears to be on one side, but is secretly working against the interest of that movement. Sound familiar? That's why I told you he is no different than a Jesse Jackson or an Al Sharpton. None. Okay? You people got to stop getting caught up just because people are musically talented. Okay? Listen to his music and watch his videos and you tell me who he's serving. And you tell me if you really believe that Kanye is serving the most high. And if you still think that, then there is something absolutely wrong with you. And I have a comment in my chat room saying, F that crazy, <laughs> F that crazy, um, you know what? He ain't saving no souls. And the only reason I don't use to like the N-word people and it's no disrespect to any of my brothers and sisters that do. I know a lot of us have been conditioned to say that word, but I try to refrain from saying that word because I feel like by saying that word, I'm only cursing myself by saying a word that's demonically driven, like this word, the N word. But it is true. You know, this dude is crazy and he ain't saving no souls. He can't even save his own soul. He hasn't even repented for what he did to his mother. And people are following this man. It's disgusting. You people should be ashamed of yourselves for how you follow this deviant, this despicable human being. Because that's what he is. This man had three kids with the biggest whore in all of uh, the, the, the commercial industry. Okay, had three children with her. You got to be out your damn mind. But anyway, let's continue. Originally coined to describe government agents who infiltrate activist movements and subvert them from within. The term has come to, to be described as an activist or organization that isn't actually working for the side they claim. Controlled opposition could be directly controlled by or in contact with, let's see here, in controlled contact with, sorry, I lost my, my place here in the reading. It says, okay, let's start from the, from the beginning of the sentence. It says controlled opposition could be directly controlled by or in contact with movements opposition. What's happening right now? We have a movement in truth where people are starting to understand the truth and we are awakening. The Most High is activating a lot of souls to bring out this truth. And people are starting to come together. And the division is, is slowly but surely diminishing. And that's why they're pushing somebody like this coon of controlled opposition by the name of Ye or Kanye. Because the truth movement and people becoming more self-aware and socially aware and politically aware and knowing what's really going on. And it's basically people just knowing that this is all bullshit. All of it. It's all bullshit. And because of that, this is what they're doing. Because Satan and all of his followers are on their last straw in these days of revelations. So it says that 
Controlled opposition could be directly controlled over contact with movements opposition, but they could also merely have an agenda aligned in the interest other than their stated cause. And we're going to start to see that in the months to come. Mark my words, people. We will see this in the months to come. And a lot of you Kanye PP writers, oh boy, you're going to be in for a rude awakening. I can't wait. It says controlled opposition is a powerful strategy. In a typical political conflict, each group only gets to play their side of the conflict. With controlled opposition, one organization can play both sides. Controlled opposition can only can also act as spies, feeding information back to opposition organizations. And we might start to see that with Kanye because I'm pretty sure there's going to be some black community truthers that's going to want to coordinate with him. And he's going to infiltrate their organizations. Watch. Also, it says, controlled opposition is a powerful strategy. In a typical political conflict, each group only gets to play their side of the conflict. With controlled opposition, one organization can play <laughs> both sides. <sighs> controlled opposition can also act as spies feeding information back to the opposing or opposition organizations feeding disinformation to those that pretend to be allied with, you're going to see a lot of that, and deliberately instigating infighting to ensure activist work does not get done. We're going to start seeing this all played out in 2023. Watch how it's all going to come together. And you're going to see Kanye for who he truly is if you are looking with your spiritual eyes. I'm going to say that again. If you are looking with your spiritual eyes, which some of us don't even have that, because we don't, we're not even aware that we are a spiritual being having a physical experience. Now, controlled opposition will typically make decisions harmful to their movement and try to get others to do the same under the guise of helping them. While controlled opposition might appear to take action and even have small symbolic wins, what controlled opposition will never do is make meaningful, decisive victory because their goal isn't to win. And that's that's what you're going to see with this buffoon. You're going to see this buffoon acting a fool and ain't nothing going to come out of it. Not a damn thing. And just like how he's been spewing this rhetoric of opposition, I can tell you that ain't a damn thing coming out of it. And I hate when they put these ads right in the middle of the article. Boy, they, these people. Okay, here we go. I can scroll up. Now, it says that um, controlled opposition will typically make decisions harmful to their movement, right? Now, if someone on their side begins to adopt a strategy that can actually win or cause a loss for the opposite, controlled opposition will be there to undermine that strategy and ensure that the win does not occur. We're going to see a lot of that. Watch that start to become a reality. Also, it says that while controlled opposition might have a secondary aims like eliminating certain act activists or making movement look bad, the goal of controlled opposition is to run the movement they claim to support on behalf of their opposition. Controlled, um, here it says, it says, if controlled opposition can gain control of a movement, then they can ensure that anyone seeking to oppose the side they really work for will win, will win the organization and efforts they control that are designed to fail. Controlled opposition can be challenged to identify for the reason that they are functionally functionally spies and spies try to hide their true identity. However, the easiest way to identify controlled opposition is to judge activists by their outcomes. If you find yourself asking why an organization or activist appears to be engaging in activity harmful to their movement, consider the possibility that the harm is intentional. 
Only occasionally does controlled opposition make themselves obvious by participating in hit pieces against the movement they claim support, promoting opposition organizations, or being caught in a lie intended to harm the movement they claim to support. Controlled opposition is more dangerous to movement than open opposition. Open opposition inspires resistance, while controlled opposition is designed to absorb that resistance. Once controlled opposition takes control of a movement, the only hope for the cause of that movement is for real opposition to take back the movement, expose control opposition for what they are, and build an alternative movement. And I'm not saying that I'm building a movement, but I'm going to expose this bullshit because this dude is a coon, always has been, always will be, always been that dude that's thirsty for fame and notoriety. And now that he get it, now that he's got it, oh, they are using him like one of the biggest puppets ever. I call him Kanye Sharpton, <laughs> Kanye Jackson. And sister, um, to the comment in the chat room, sister, not, no worries. Listen, if you want to write that, that's, 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 you know, I know what it is. I grew up in the Bronx. I used to say the word nigga all the time growing up. Oh, nigga this, nigga that. That's how we talk, especially when, you know, because I, I grew up in, in the streets and, you know, that was just a common term that we use. It's a common term that we use because it's used against us, right? And the one thing that made me stop using it, and it's no knock on, on the brothers and sisters that do, because I get it. I get it. It's not something that's just going to happen overnight. It takes time. But the only reason I decided to stop using that word what really got me to stop using it is because I felt my grand, my great grandmother's spirit, who was a slave, and my great grandmother's a very melanated woman that was a slave in the island of Boricua, that's known as Puerto Rico. And I just felt like I'm gonna be disrespecting my great grandmother, Jesus, justice. Couldn't do that, you know, because I know what that word must have meant to her and the energy that it came with when it was said to her and many of our ancestors. Because I could tell you right now, a lot of the brothers and sisters, if their ancestors was to come and, and reappear in their lives, they wouldn't want to say that word knowing what the ancestors had to endure behind that word. That's the reason why I don't use it. Because it's a self-destructive word. And just like the English language is self-destructive, we have to try to limit what we speak from our tongues because we curse ourselves with our own tongues. And when we call each other niggas and spicks and all these other terms that we've conjured up to describe ourselves to one another as brothers and sisters in one family of life, we are only cursing ourselves with the very thing that they want you to embrace. That's why I used to laugh after a while, but they'd be like, oh, I call, I call my people's um, the N word because, you know, we're taking control back. It's like, no, you're not. You're just cursing yourself with your own tongue, man. Whatever we speak into existence becomes reality. That's how we are created. Remember, we are expressions of the same light of the creator, the most high. We were created in the image of the most high's likeness. So no worries, sister. If you want to say that word, that's on you. I ain't going to judge you for that. I'm just saying that I don't use it. And that's the reason why. All right. And I can only hope to inspire other brothers and sisters not to use that word because we are, we are not niggas. We're not spicks. We're so much more than that. We are spiritual beings having a physical experience. Same thing with those who consider themselves to be white. They've been deluded and they've been lied to. Okay? There's no such thing as a white person. There's no such thing as a brown person. There's no such thing as a black person. We only make it so because that's how we perceive our reality. Plain and simple. Okay? So. Let's continue here with this um, 
with this article here? Well, actually, I'm actually done because I think we covered the basis of what the article wanted to convey in its message. And that's it, that this controlled opposition, people, it's a very, very advanced form of manipulation that most people are just not seeing. Let's just call it what it is, right? Most people are not seeing this for what it truly is. But those that are, are, those that are, I salute you 110%. Because what this dude is doing, and when I mean this dude, Kanye, is he's serving the very masters that allow him to keep that money in the bank. That's their banks. You don't you think if he was really against so-called Jewish people, and if he was truly being anti-Semitic, that that money would still be in his bank account? Come on, people. Wake the fuck up. Please. The level of stupidity these days is outstanding. It's mind-blowing sometimes. But hey, it is what it is. And that's why I do what I do. Because this shit is ridiculous. Also, keep in mind that people have been talking about that black people or so-called black people are the real Jews for centuries, okay? For centuries, let alone for the last five decades, heavily. All of a sudden, this so-called celebrite is talking about it now and everybody wants to jump on the bandwagon like he's a truth warrior? Give me a fucking break, man. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Makes no sense, but yet it does. So keep that in mind. Why put it like this before I go? Because I'm gonna play some music and then I'm out of here for this live broadcast. Keep this in mind, people. Is that why is he getting interviewed on all of these platforms that are financed by the very people that he's talking about? It's, not, it's one thing for him to be on drink tramps with Nori getting drunk and high. But it's a whole nother thing when he's going on the Pierce Morgan show and all these other shows that are deliberately funded by these people. If he would have did what he did, let's say if, if he was real, let's just say, look, put it like this. If he was real and he went on the drink tramps, say, uh, drink tramps, <laughs> <laughs> the drink, the drink champs. If he went on drink champs and talked about this and then got censored, why would he go on other shows? How would he get booked to do other shows if it wasn't controlled opposition? Think about that, people. Just for a second. Think about it. That's all I'm saying. Or don't. I could tell you that I see through this bullshit from day one. I listen. The only time I liked Kanye is when he first came onto the scene. And that was the last time I liked him because I knew what was going on and I knew what was going to happen to him. And boom, it did. And he did a major sacrifice. He sacrificed Don to his mother. And he's going to have to live with that and die with that reality. Okay? And that's going to be his burden. And he has yet to repent for that. And he's going to suffer as he is now for that decision that he made for the price of fame. Because that Happy Meal and those toys, they're all material things. They do not fulfill anything in this thing called life that is all spiritual, plain and simple. So brothers and sisters, I want to thank everybody who's been supporting the show. Please continue to download from any platform that you listen to my show on. Um, put your likes in the, in the heart symbol if you're on Spreaker. If not, uh, you can like it on whatever platform you want. Um, really enjoying Swell. Um, shout outs to all my followers on Swell. Swell is a new app that came out where you could put out five minute audio podcast um, rhetoric. So I basically can talk up to five minutes from my phone and put out messages. So that's what I've been doing. Um, check me out or the information list at Swell. And um Shout outs to all the TikTok. Listen, my TikTok page is growing and I'm just so grateful because I haven't spent a dime. 
I have yet to spend a damn dime on promoting myself on social media and it's coming together. And, you know, I'm glad that a lot of the people that used to follow me and that I used to follow that I've now blocked a lot of these so-called Hebrew Israelites that, that are self-entitled and think that they come from the tribe of Judah. I'm glad that I got rid of a lot of those people and blocked them because especially when it comes to my ex-wife, like it's like ever since she blocked me, um, it just seems like everything just started picking up. Like it just seems like everything just got better. Almost like having her on my page was a curse <laughs> that got lifted amongst other people too on Instagram. You know, and I'm even thinking about starting an Instagram page, um, a new one, which I, I'm going to let you brothers and sisters know. I'm going to do that because that that Instagram page has a lot of those people that are associated with certain people's platforms. And I just, I want to get away from those people as much as possible because they're not about shit. And a lot of them are trolling me. So I just want to get rid of that toxic energy and start fresh. And build up my Instagram page just like I built the first one up. All right. So I will let you guys know that. And plus, I want to stick to my original social media handle, which is my name. So. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, yes, sister. Fake ninjas. There you go. Fake ninjas trying to troll and trying to. It's funny how. A lot of these people swear that my platform sucks. I even had a sister right after you, sister, that made a comment. She said, um, she said that my podcast sucks and that I might as well wrap it up and shut it down because that's what they want me to do. Because the jealousy runs so thick that they hate to see me continuing to do what I do, which is to bring awareness. And you're right. There's a lot of people doing videos on his nutty ass. He don't read the Bible neither. And his clothes are ugly. <laughs> They're all facts. <laughs> all facts. But these fake ninja sisters, trust me, I'm weeding them out little by little. Even the ones that didn't even come at me hard or didn't disrespect me, I'm cutting them off too because they're fake. They, they're still under that MK Ultra. You know, and it's pretty pathetic, but that's that's for them to realize. You know, I don't want to. I just don't want to be around that energy. I don't want that energy trolling me like it has. You know, I can't stop these people from listening to the show. If they're going to listen to the show, you know, let them listen to the show. It's all good. But one thing I will not do is have my algorithm affected because of these types of people that are still in my chain or feeds or, or followers. I just want to start fresh because I got rid of a lot of toxic energy and I just want to make it complete. So it is what it is. And I thought it was funny when one of them said, you know, that I should wrap it up. And it's like, why are you listening to my show? And you have, you got a lot of audacity to put that in my, um, in my um, chat room. But I thought it was funny because when when I got attacked by this demon, okay, who we won't mention his name, when I got attacked by this by this man, um, who's got demons on him heavily, there was one person, and I I just I, I every time I think about it, I think it's funny. It's like, oh, his show was whack. I, I only listened to like twenty episodes. <laughs> but that's the type of energy I want to get rid of, people, and I'm. I'm doing a good job, all praise to the most high that I am. And all these new people that are coming into my life are a better fit for me in the sense of what it is that they represent and what it is that they know and do. And I just, I'm just so grateful to the most high. The most high makes no mistakes. And those that are real, like my sister Nama in this chat room, they, know, they didn't go nowhere. We still here, baby. Faithful with fear every single day. So I want to thank you for joining me on this live broadcast for Most High Monday. I want to say peace 
and blessings to all of you going through the motions. And uh, have no fear, people. Remember, long suffering. That long suffering that we endure is only going to make us stronger and stronger each and every day. So, brothers and sisters, when you live in the present and stay tuned, I'm going to play some music. Don't go nowhere. I'm going to play some music. But I am going to stop talking. So when you live in the present, there's always an opportunity for a new beginning. And don't look for the light at the end of the tunnel, brothers and sisters, because the light is within you. So light up the tunnel and find your way through the darkness. This is all the information that's saying peace, love, and light. Rakatan. And all praise to Yah Elohim. That which is and always will be our great creator. Thank you. Sometimes the best thing to do is walk away so you can protect your peace, protect your energy, and keep growing. You'll never be able to fully grow into your true potential until you learn to let go of the things that are holding you back and weighing you down. Talking shit, I'm trying to complain, just venting, empty in my soul. I gotta let it go, releasing, receiving. So much favor from y'all, shalom. Barakatha, I'm gone. 
I got to keep on stepping, just serving my purpose. Yeah, been going through trials, but fucking man, it's worth it because I'm only going up from here. Faith over fear, yeah. I've been going through it, but I never asked why. I just know I gotta fly, I'm gone. Spiritually growing, yeah, I gotta go and touch the sky. Left behind, praise y'all, and I'm gone. I've been going through it, but I never asked why. I just know I gotta fly, I'm gone. Spiritually growing. Left behind, praise y'all, and I'm gone You are now tuned in to the Network of Awakening My breath, feel me. I'm just saying, y'all. I'm just saying, you may think I'm in my feelings. I'm not in my feelings. I just need healing. I don't wanna self destroy. I don't wanna cry. I don't wanna find myself dead last. You get a splash when they hit the surface. Only when till drops fall. Only when they fall. I've been writing all day long. A humble man, I am. With pen and shit, a pen of pain. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just. I'm not in my feeling. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just. Sometimes, Sometimes I get emotional. My whole life is on a Ferris wheel. And it's going round and around. They don't know how many times I done cried. They don't know. I'm just saying, y'all. $600 is what they give us. Ooh, we. I'm just saying, how many 
different times, I'm on the side of the road trying to catch my breath. I'm just saying, y'all, I had to go to probate court. I had three accounts against me. When the judge called my name, she read I don't want to count. I was shocked at the same time. I wanna let you know, y'all your low hand is the real deal. It ain't no problem he can't solve. He the one that gon' have you back, and he also will make sure you wanna stand there. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm not in my feeling. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just. Sometimes, Sometimes I get emotional. My whole life is on a Ferris wheel. And it's going round and around. They don't know how many times I done cried. They don't know. I'm just saying, y'all. $600 is what they give us. Ooh, we. I'm just saying. How many times I'm on the side of the road trying to catch my breath? I'm just saying, y'all. In the mix, 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 in the m
city suburban I'm seriously merging and physically working on my purpose To lyrically service the uh, mental malnourished until I perish Yeah, perish, I was gonna save the awakened then take him to an ageless haven Patient, I can't straight away, gotta keep obliterating the pavement Still remember that day on the phone mark He said, yo, take, don't you take your foot off the gas Always something to give y'all praises We're the dark oasis, countless cases of peak of faithless I'ma need the patience, defeat the chases We seek his graces for true salvation We keep abrasing, we go on blazing these revelations Cease to no old cases Good vibrations, we back to basics To build foundations, y'all defeat the Satan I done made mistakes on purpose To divide the worth from the worthless Reveal the facts to be certain No pain, no gain in the verses My faith been alive before churches Cause y'all is person, I'm person So I'm worried about complicated versions Cause the call to divide the virgins I'm still hurting, so searching Networking and murking Anytime they can drop my curtain With a spirit that city suburban I'm seriously merging And physically working on my purpose To lyrically service The mental mouth nourish until I perish Pursuing acts of violence, third persistent act of the virus, freely forming a righteous alliance, truly against the science suppliers. On a mission with wisdom and guidance, steady to be in the ignorant science, silly convicted and non compliant, spiritual wars to move inside. Let's science. talk about what matters. Drop the vanity, folks out here losing their sanity, kids popping off, lost in fantasies, people grieving over loss of family. The evil that be with the power, turning the people with credence to cowards, seeking to seize believers with vows. Many of TV can see that it's foul. Out of made mistakes on purpose, to divide the worth from the worthless, reveal the facts to be certain, no pain, no gain in the verses, my faith been alive before churches, cause Yah is personal person, so I'm worried about complicated versions, cause the call to divine divergence, I'm still hurting, so searching, networking and murking, anytime they can drop my curtain, with a spirit that city suburban, I'm seriously merging, and physically working on my purpose, to lyrically service, the mental mouth nourish until I perish, depression gone with every song, music played by another echelon, to get you strong, keep pressing on, long after we dead and gone, from dusk till dawn, we're righteously armed, with spirit Spiritual lessons from Yah. We where we belong, we keep it on. The righteous with third is Zion. Records embellished with heavenly eloquence. Elohim's presence presently evident. Intricate elements, infinite intelligence. Spiritual specimens, lyrically resonant. The people's inheritance, smaller percentages. Carefully measured and meant to be shared. With the message projected, cemented, embedded. The sensible, sensible question is, is what would you give from it? Made mistakes on purpose to divide the worth from the worthless. Reveal the facts to be certain. No pain, no gain in the verses. My faith been alive before churches. Cause Yah is personal person. So I'm aware of a complicated versions. Cause the call to divine divergence. I'm still hurting, so searching, networking and murking. Anytime they can drop my curtain with a spirit that city suburban. I'm seriously merging and physically working on my purpose to lyrically service the mental mouth nourish until I perish. This concludes the Network of Awareness podcast. For more information on the Network of Awareness, please subscribe via email to our website, networkofawareness.com, and follow us on Spreaker.com or any other listening apps you use. For any questions about the NOA, email us at aura at networkofawareness.com. Thank you for listening to one of the fastest growing podcast shows on society and culture in America and abroad. When you live in the present, there's always an opportunity for a new beginning. Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings.